My name is Martin Blank, PhD, Special Lecturer in the Department of Physiology and Cellular Biophysics at Columbia University in New York. I reside in Victoria, British Columbia, Canada. My perspective is that of a research scientist with over half a century of experience as a professor of physiology and cellular biophysics, as well as experience working for government and industry. For the past three decades, I've been pursuing studies in, on health effects of non-ionizing electromagnetic fields, EMF. I have published over 200 papers, edited 12 books on EMF research, and contributed to the online bioinitiative report. This year I published Overpowered, The Dangers of Electromagnetic Radiation and What You Can Do About It. It is a book aimed at informing the public about biological evidence of potentially harmful effects related to non-ionizing EMF and the need for precautionary measures. I am concerned that the public com uh, communities and governing bodies are not receiving accurate uh, information on the health risks of exposure to all forms of microwave antennas and devices utilized by the wireless industry. There is a consensus in the scientific community that biological effects occur as a result of exposure to radiation from these microwave antennas and devices. There is much scientific evidence that biological effects such as DNA damage and cellular stress response occur as a result of exposure to radiation from microwave antennas and devices. The biological cause of health damage is the microwave radio frequency radiation, not the energy, which means that the damage occurs at extremely low levels of exposure, far lower than the protection uh, limits allowed for under Canada Safety Code 6. DNA is especially vulnerable, reacting with many frequencies as, fra as a fractal antenna within the DNA itself. Health concerns arise from the fact that the radiation from microwave antennas and devices can cause changes in the body that are indicative of cellular damage. These concerns are supported by measured increases in cancer risk that are linked to the radiation. Biological effects, for example DNA damage, the cellular stress response, have been shown to occur as a result of exposure to frequencies across the non-ionizing range. To understand the risk associated with wireless exposures, one should ask scientists who study living cells, or better still, the cells themselves. Cells react to dangers in characteristic ways. Just like there are mechanisms to get organisms to breathe faster and pump blood faster, when they sense danger, cells start to make stress proteins to correct damage caused by the different stresses they encounter. Furthermore, cells are more sensitive to microwave radio frequency exposures than to temperature. The stress reactions of the cells can account for ongoing accumulation of DNA damage by exposure to the increasing ELF and microwave frequencies in the environment. The main health concern is cancer. The group of diseases that have been linked to DNA damage, a widely reported, reported biological effect of radiation. Children are far more vulnerable to health damage due to the thinner bone in the cranium and the fact that the, bone, the nerves are not as myelinated which means it's more watery than, than lipid. The human exposure limits set by Health Canada Safety Code 6 have not been updated for about 30 years and have not taken into account recent research that has documented harmful effects on cell function. The limits in Safety Code 6 are fundamentally flawed because they are not based on measures of cell function but on the heating of cells. Biological research is almost totally missing in the Safety Code 6 evaluation. Epidemiology studies can only suggest correlations, but experimental cell biologists have found and explained many effects due to EMF exposure. In fact, recent research by Kahlberg and Hardell claim that RF EMF should be regarded as a human carcinogen requiring or urgent revision of the current exposure guidelines from a class 2B cancer risk to a class 1 cancer causing. I believe that the continuous exposure to emissions from microwave antennas and devices is unsafe and constitutes a public health risk. Relying on safety code 6 parameters will not protect people, especially children, from health damage as evidenced by the science. Based on my research and analysis of research, bio biology-based safety standards which would protect human health should be 10,000 times lower for the microwave radio frequency standard. Health Canada should use the available biological information to better protect the population.